Hello everyone, this is Macomb Mayor Mike Inman. We're coming to you from Macomb City Hall. So let me take just a minute and show you how to take off your mask the right way because we're supposed to be using those anytime we're out in public. And I'm gonna set this over here. This is not necessarily the proper procedure for setting it off to the side, but that's how you take it off. And uh, we're wanting to encourage you to comply with the uh, governor's order on wearing masks. I know that some of us are still getting used to that. And, Got to tell you, that's very, very important. And again, the the protocol talks about anytime you're out engaging in essential um, business activity or non-essential business activity. Now that we can engage in that, whether it's um, if it's inside, you must wear the mask. Um, that's what the protocol calls for. It doesn't talk about well if I'm inside and six feet apart. No, it talks about if you're inside, wear the mask. And if you can't maintain social distancing outside, then you should be wearing a mask as well. Otherwise, if you're outside and doing yard work and you're not gonna contact with anybody else, yeah, then no mask, it's, that's fine. But just for clarification, and we'll be looking for some guidance uh, from our folks at the health department on that here soon, uh, making that clear. Uh, speaking of the health department, uh, as you may be aware, since we've last had an opportunity to chat, we've had some increase in our uh, numbers reporting. So the most recent activity coming to us from the health department today is that we have a total of 43 cases in McDonough County. And unfortunately, since um, we um, have been reporting this, there are two deaths here in McDonough County. And when, again, we extend our uh, condolences to, to the family of the folks that have passed away because of this virus. Um, one thing I wanna clear up is that I've been getting some some inquiries from folks in the community about, well, well, you talk about McDonough County, where are these uh, centered at? Well, I have to tell you that the overwhelming majority of these cases are where you might expect in the community with the largest population, and that's here in Macomb. So I'm not sure in speaking with some of the folks uh, what, what their question is really based on, but if they believe it, these are taking place in another community in McDonough County, and somehow that, that shouldn't be of concern to them. Well, first of all, we're all one county and we'd like to think we're taking care of one another in the county. And I'd also want to make sure that people didn't have some false sense of, well, it's not in Macomb, so we're okay. Again, as we've been trying to stress throughout this pandemic, without raising panic, we want you to remember that unfortunately this is widespread. And although we were benefactors in the fact that we had no cases for some time, we're now uh, kind of experienced some exponential uh, increase in those cases at 43. I think if you remember, probably within the last two weeks that those numbers have really skyrocketed. And there's a reason for that. Uh, folks, um, I think um, we could have been doing a little better job of uh, adhering to the stay at home order, uh, practicing social distancing, you know, taking care of all those things we should have taken care of. In some cases, uh, I don't wanna paint these folks as um, doing anything but right, but many of them had uh, done all the things right, but still became exposed. What I would like to encourage us to do as a community is to remember how important it is that we all uh, take the precautions that um, we should be taking because it's the right thing to do, and that we've been asked to take by the governor and the governor's order. Again, whether you agree with it or not, the big picture is here, we're trying to keep the number of folks exposed to this virus and potentially dying from this virus at the very lowest possible number. So I think there's probably some other uh, things we should be concerned about here. The number of people being tested and the ability to contact, trace those folks. Uh, we, we need to be assured that that's happening. So if you are uh, in a position where uh, you're meeting the guidelines and they're pretty uh, broad now and need to be tested, there uh, is that ability to contact the uh, and, uh, the nurse hotline through McDonough District Hospital and that number's here on your, your, uh, your screen and go through that process here locally. But if for some reason or another that's not a good answer for you or if, uh, whatever the case may be, whether you're on the farthest regions of uh, the county and have a relationship, uh, the testing is being done in other locations adjoining us. Uh, for example, I'm, I'm concerned that one large county uh, to the southwest of us here who has over twice our population now has fewer cases and fewer deaths than we do. So again, I think it's very important that as we continue through this and particularly on a day like today when it's a beautiful day outside, we kind of uh, let our minds uh, 
go back to a, a time that seems in some cases so long ago where we could appreciate a beautiful day and not have to worry about things called social distancing and um, wearing face coverings or where do I get a face covering, how do I wear it and those kind of things. Um, we're kind of in a new normal for a bit and we've had some easing of uh, the stay at home order to allow some more economic uh, development activity. We're grateful for that, but it is still, we got to keep our eye on the prize. So uh, keep focused. And speaking of economic development activity at McDonough, excuse me, Macomb City Council meeting on Monday night, we did approve six uh, applications, excuse me, for local businesses to participate in uh, some economic uh, grant opportunities through the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity. We'll uh, look at another three, uh, likely three additional small businesses that will be able to take advantage of that at next Monday's uh, City Council meeting. We're, we're grateful to be able to um, collaborate with those businesses and. Uh, do our part to help support our local business community and remind you that there's been other uh, local businesses in Macomb and, and in the county for that matter that have been the benefactors of uh, state and federal assistance to help uh, ease the burden um, that is you know plaguing so many of our small businesses in this time. I'm encouraged by reaching out to some of the small businesses in the community as I've been doing, checking in with them, seeing how they're doing how business is going and some of our essential businesses are reporting um, you know w with some hiccups and some other things but all in all they're they're doing okay they're doing in some instances maybe even a little better than okay and we're grateful for that but we also know there are still a lot of small businesses sitting on the sidelines waiting waiting for uh, an opportunity to get back in uh, to business at, at some degree of normalcy and we're anxious for that too as it relates to some other activities in the city, uh, this weekend is a couple of what have traditionally been uh, important dates, and there's no reason to think that they're not. Uh, our local Macomb High School graduates would uh, be looking at some activities this weekend, uh, namely prom, and they'll be missing out on that. But they'll also be preparing, preparing for graduation coming up in the next couple of weeks. We as a community should try to remember them and uh, s s do our part to make this as memorable in a positive way as we can. And also this weekend would be Mother's Day. How could we forget about those very important people in our lives? So uh, to the best you can, there are, there are floral um, opportunities. If that's the way you traditionally celebrate that, uh, moms at your house, uh, the, those businesses are running um, under the provisions of the stay-at-home order. I think they're accessible and, and uh, doable. And uh, you know, think of a creative way this, this uh, year to remember mom and remember those high school seniors that would be celebrating their prom or getting ready for their graduation. And, you know, make it a memorable event as best we can, as a, not only as individuals and families, but as a community. And we're working on that. Uh, we're working on that in several ways. So, and some other activities we wanna remind you of going on in the city. First of all, um, tomorrow, uh, Thursday, May 7th, is the National Day of Prayer. And if uh, you remember, this is something that's been a tradition in our community for a number of years through the Interfaith Alliance here in Macomb. You can check out the city's website and downtown development website for uh, guidance on how you can participate in the National Day of Prayer. And also while we're at it, we wanna remind you that again, the curbside all clean up, take it all, throw everything at the curb has been postponed this year. Normally that would be happening in the next couple of weeks. Please, please do not set those types of items at your curbside unless you've, uh, an I should say, an anticipation that uh, that cleanup all pickup will take place. It will not take place this spring. Again, that's uh, due to some uh, logistics and operational issues with waste management. They had notified us of that several weeks ago. We've tried to get that word out diligently. Please do not set your items out in anticipation of that because that's not going to occur. On the other hand, if you've made arrangements by picking up a sticker that would allow that to be picked up and paid an extra fee, please do that. But the overwhelming majority of the community is not engaging in that extra activity. So please, if you see friends or neighbors in your neighborhood that have begun that process of setting their items out at the curb for next week's garbage collection, that's not going to happen right now. So please encourage them to either check with us and we'll fill them in, or if you feel like you have a good enough relationship with them to let them know that that's not happening and encourage them to take those items back into storage, unfortunately for now. When we get the guidance from Waste Manager, we'll give everyone plenty of advance notice when that will roll out again. Again, we're not sure what that's gonna be right now. It's not been canceled, it's just been postponed. Um, again, we'd remind you that we're still trying to work uh, all together in solving this and getting through this, but the very basics of what we can do are 
wear face coverings out in public, wash your hands, social distancing, and really uh, doing your best to uh, limit the number of interactions you have, even when it's authorized, uh, and, and limiting the internet, uh, inter, uh, actions you have with the public. Again, if you're going out as a household unit and you've been cooped up with folks for days and weeks and on end, nothing says you can't get out as a group like that, uh, your home uh, household unit, and go enjoy a walk uh, or bicycle ride, activities at uh, Spring Lake, uh, whatever the case may be. We want to encourage you to do that. We know that that's important, absolutely important, not only to your physical health, but to our mental health here. And to the extent that you're struggling um, with this, uh, both uh, physically and mentally, uh, we would ask you to take time to talk to people that are influencers in your life, folks that you have uh, valued relationships with, and again, uh, be willing to communicate openly about how you're feeling and uh, what's really going on in your world. And again, those folks that are um, co literally confined in their homes uh, of a certain age or because of a physical limitation or something like that, please remember to reach out to them. Again, that can be done either over the phone or through um, internet means or uh, utilizing safe social distancing. Um, make some contact with them and, and check and make sure how they're doing. Again, as always, um, we're doing the best we can here at City Hall. Uh, to keep you informed. But if there's anything you need, please feel free to call us at any of the numbers listed uh, at the end of this video. Again, we're counting on you and we're all trying to get through this and do it together. Thank you.